Today I'm going to walk you through the Biology 101 DVD Science series. Okay, so this DVD series is about for the ages of 15 and up. It's a high school course. Okay, so this company, the 101 DVD series, they make, so far they have four science programs for high school that they have out. They have the bio Biology 101, Chemistry 101, Physics 101, and their newest release is General Science 101, I believe. Anyhow, this is a program written by Wes Olson. Right there. It is produced by Westfield Studios. Okay, um, I will have a link in the description box below. Now, before I actually open things up, I want to say a few things before I forget. So, if you go to their website, you can enter your email and you can get a free sample of, you know, their stuff. Like a download of their stuff, their guidebook, and the accreditation program. So, you can do that. I also want to say that the videos in the DVDs here, um, they are filmed in Northwest America. If you go to their website, the DVDs by themselves, just the four DVDs, what I have in my hand is about $70. It's like $65 or $69. I don't quite remember. Okay, so it's a close to $70 for just the DVDs. Um, Christian Book Distributors, I think it's about $40 something dollars, so you could get a discount there. All right, also on their website, you can purchase the guidebook and quizzes, and I think this is about $20 something dollars. And the course accreditation program, I think think is around $12. So if you had to buy all this, that can get a little, you know, pricey. Or both of these books come as a download on disk D here. Okay. So you can just download them to your computer and print them off. Now I did, I printed off the course accreditation program. However, I bought the guidebook and quizzes from their website. So if you buy it from their website, it comes with a black back, spiral bound, and a clear cover. Okay. Now, I think that's all I wanted to get out of the way first. All right. So all of the 101 DVD series, the biology, the chemistry, physics, um, general science, all of them that we're focusing on biology right now, they are all from a Christian view of a literal six-day creation. So Biology 101, um, let's see, they break down uh, plants, mankind, animals, uh, let's see, plants, mankind, animals, birds, water creatures, just life in general, according to a literal six-day of creation. Okay? Alright, so like I said, these are actual DVDs, so they're just short videos. Okay, there's that. Alright, if you want to pause the video so you can read this, go for it. Okay. So, the Wes, the guy you see here in these pictures, Wes, um... He is very funny. He really breaks um, biology down to where it's much easier to understand, and he has fun with it. Okay, so everything that he says and goes over in each video is also in the guidebook here. Okay, so if you want to pause the video so you can see how to use the guidebook, you can do so. All right. And this is the table of contents, what the guidebook covers. Okay, so you have life defined, life classified, um, like, you know, how we even classify things. Uh, let's see what else. Sorry, I'm sitting on the floor, so my hand's a little shaky here. Okay, so after each little section, there's a quiz. Okay, see? So you have just, you know, general stuff here. Life defined, life classified, a quiz, 
You have the plant kingdom classifying plants, vascular and non-vascular plants, and a quiz. Aquatic creatures. The aquatic kingdom, vertebrates, invertebrates, a quiz. Uh, avian creatures, the avian kingdom, flying vertebrates and invertebrates, and a quiz. Then you have land animals, vertebrates, invertebrates, cold-blooded, warm-blooded, a quiz. You have the sixth day, mankind. You have the brain, the five senses, skeletal system, muscular system, circulatory, digestive, lymphatic, endocrine system, and then just general human development. Then you have a quiz. Genetics from Genesis to genes, cells, DNA, genetic engineering, cloning, the biblical responses to that, a quiz, and then you have answers to the quiz, and yeah, and then your bibliography and index. So, like I said, everything that the videos cover is also written in here, and this has a little bit more additional information. So, this is what the course book, or sorry, guidebook looks like. Okay, and I'm not going to go through every page, but I'll show you. You just saw that, and then here's the quiz. Here's the next little section, the plant kingdom. giving you an idea here of what it looks like and how it's laid out in a quiz. So this is the end of the plant segment and they move on to the water animals. Okay. All right. You can see um, it's just black and white and there's no, you know, it's, it's all laid out the same. Okay. There's the mankind quiz, genetics, Genetic Engineering, Cloning, Genetics Quiz. Then here you have the answers to the quizzes. Then you have your bibliography and your index. Okay, so that's that. Now, okay. So, some people, they will only get the discs and they will just use it as a supplement to, you know, a bigger biology textbook. Um, you know, so you can do that. Or... Okay, so these two, you know, they go together. If you want to only use this as your high school biology, then in order for it to really be a full year, you'll need to add in the course accreditation program. Okay? And what that is, this is where you have additional work. Okay? So, Biology 101, it includes 20 plus hours of labs, which are in here. So, disc A, the first segment of the video, is life defined. So here it just tells you what to do for the first three weeks. So for three weeks you're studying life defined, okay? So you make the notebook, you watch the first uh, lesson, you read the guidebook, pages one through six, that covers that video. You use an encyclopedia, go on a field trip, read more books, uh, read the creation account in Genesis, you watch the video again. So you're watching the same video, the same little episode twice, you know, during those three weeks. You read and study pages one through six of the guidebook again. See, so you're doing it again. And then you're taking the quiz. Then you look up uh, the scriptures of what Jesus believed. And, you know, then you have creation. So again, for the first three weeks or the three weeks for that lesson. And then you have, um, for the aquatic creatures, the avian creatures, land animals, part one. You see here's some dry lab work, field trip, land animals, part two, mankind, lab work, mankind, part two, dry lab work. And then you have your disc D, which is genetics. So this is the last one. Your lab work here using a microscope. I guess I probably should have went over some of the lab work in the beginning. Uh, let's see. Okay, I don't think this one had an actual lab work. Let's see. There it is. Lab work here. You're going to be studying 10 vascular and non-vascular plants. And this lab work is to catch a fish, you know, or buy one. And you know, dissect it. Um, 
Okay, so I have a video on this. Um, okay, so um, I'm, I have a video on what we did for this lab work here. Um, I actually bought a dissection kit. It, it included a frog, a cricket, a worm, and something else. What was it? Hmm. I don't remember what the fourth creature was. Anyway, um, anyhow, but I'll try to remember to link that video so you can see what we bought and kind of um, what it looked like as we were doing it. So, anyway, so I do have a video to, you know, for that. Anyhow, so I hope that made sense. Um, I'm not done, <laughs> but um, anyway, I hope that made sense as to what the purpose is of this. You just add this in if you want this to be a complete high school curriculum. This goes with this. Okay, um, this is the meat. This is the course. Okay, all right. Now, what did we think about it? All right. Well, so I don't remember if I said this or not um, in the beginning. My daughter, she used this for her science last year when she was in ninth grade. Um, she absolutely loved it, hands down. She said it's absolutely her favorite uh, science she's ever done. She just, she was so excited about it, you know, each day. She actually finished, completely finished it early, um, just because she enjoyed it so much. Um, Wes, he is funny. He does a good job at, you know, breaking the things down to where you can understand it. She learned a lot and loved it and completed it. So there you go. I mean, that's the answer, right? I mean, the goal of education is to learn. Well, she learned, so it was worth it. Um, as a parent, as an adult, um, I feel like, okay, and I don't know if I feel like this because I was raised in public school, so, you know, you just have that mentality that things have to be hard and just, you know, unable to understand them. I, I don't know, but because this was so easy for her and, you know, she didn't complain about it, she enjoyed it, I was thinking, okay, maybe this isn't hard enough, so I don't know. For, for some, for some child, if your child has no plans to, you know, need biology in their future, um, but you have to give them a credit, this is easy, this is fun, um, and they will learn. So I would highly, highly recommend this. But if your child needs something a little bit deeper, um, I don't know. I mean, this is really, really complete, so I really don't want to say it's not deep enough. It may just be because he just makes it so fun that they, it's just easy. I don't know. But anyway, you know, you could maybe add something to it. Okay. So my daughter's best friend last year, she was in ninth grade as well, and she did this exact same program. And they actually live four and a half hours away from us, you know, because we moved a few years ago. But they are still best friends. So they would stay on the same lesson. You know, they would make sure that they stayed together and then they would discuss their lesson you know their understanding of it over the phone or through text or whatever and then whenever we did the dissection kit uh, we actually like skyped it so they could do it at the same time so it was a lot of fun but anyhow okay so her best friend did this last year as well well before her best friend did this her mother was looking into it and before she was looking into this company, she actually was looking into this guy, John Hudson Tyner. He has a book out called Exploring the World of Biology. Let me see if there's a picture of that in here. Right here. Exploring the World of Biology. So, she really wanted to get this book for biology for her daughter and you know so we was kind of hoping that our, our girls could have the same curriculum so you know she's like what do you think and anyway so like we discussed it back and forth and then we found this and we really liked it so we got it and she kind of feels the same way as I felt that it wasn't 
quite deep enough. Um, so this year, this year when they're in 10th grade, they're going to be doing, let me get it here, Chemistry 101, the guidebook for Chemistry 101, and of course accreditation. So you can see we're doing it again, but, well the chemistry, but this year we're going to add in the world of chemistry. Okay, so um, looking back, you know, my friend, my daughter's best friend's mom, she kind of wishes that we, she went ahead and got the world of biology to add to this. So, and now that, you know, I've done it too, um, I kind of agree. So this year we're adding in the world of chemistry. All right. And all these books are, it's just a reading book basically to guide you and it has questions. So I don't want to get into details on this since the video is on biology, but, um, the biology one of this is just like this. It's just a, a reading book. And after each chapter, I think is what they're called. Um, they have questions. So anyhow, so that's what we're doing this year. So if we go back, we would have got the biology to help go with this. Okay. All right. And I'll do a video on this another time. Okay. So, um, the purpose of education is for them to learn. Okay. They did. They, they absolutely learned. Um, my daughter's best friend, she loved it too. Um, her mom said that, um, you know, it was the best science that they had ever done as well. Um, you know, in regards to retaining what they learned, remembering it and enjoying it and applying it, they did. So I highly recommend this course. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.